Hi, uh, I'm Stuart Lilly, and this is Tilda. And we are doing the Made in Camp at Ticonderoga activity. Now, this activity is how you at home can go ahead and do your own creative version of one of the gunpowder horns carried by soldiers at Fort Ticonderoga. And you'll find in this activity, in our Center for Digital History, two great examples of powder horns made by American soldiers while they were at camp at Fort Ticonderoga, which record some really awesome details about what Ticonderoga was like in 1776. Now, in order to do this activity, we're going to need some supplies. Amongst those, we're going to need bananas, which will stand in as our edible uh, version of a powder horn. We're going to need toothpicks, regular old toothpicks just like these ones here, which we'll use to pierce through the outside of the powder horn to go ahead and make our design. You're going to need a little bit of food coloring, which we'll use to stain the marks that we'll make. And a little sponge brush is perfect to apply that food coloring on the outside. And like any home project, have paper towels ready to go. Now, onto your banana powder horn, you're going to want to put all sorts of different things. Just like soldiers would back at the time, you might well put your name into it. You might well put the date, or a date that's special to you. You could draw an animal that's special to you. You could put a map of the place that surrounds you, or a map of some place that you've gone over the course of your travels. Now, over here, Tilda's been working away on her powder horn. We'll look at that more in a second. What you're going to do is you'll take your toothpick, just like this, and you can go ahead and pierce through the outer flesh of your banana, creating a series of marks. Now, as you put these little piercings in, they start out kind of clear colored, and then as the flesh of the banana oxidizes, it shows up as a slightly darker stain. And if you do this carefully, you can make some very nice patterns. Now this is just like the scrimshaw work that was done on soldiers' powder horns. There with a pen knife or perhaps some sort of just sharp tool, they would scratch into that soft horn and then wipe a little bit of perhaps gunpowder and water or just dirt, which would bring out the lines into those powder horns. Now, you can work away at it and you will start to get patterns. Now, Tilda, can you tell me about what you've put on this powder horn? And let's go ahead and show that for the camera. I made the word owl, owl, and my name and the birth, my birthday date, and my second favorite animal, which is a flying fish. Those are really good animals. Now, once you've put your markings into that powder horn, the last thing that we want to do to make them really show up we're going to take just a little bit of our food coloring dye, whichever is your favorite, put a couple drops of that onto our sponge brush, and then just to make that show up a little bit better, we'll take that, wipe it right along the surface of where those markings are, and now, can you hold that? The most important job a parent can do, clean up with some paper towels, we wipe that on off, And voila, we get all of our markings. So, it's a fun way that you can make your own edible version of a soldier's powder horn, just like those carried by American soldiers at Fort Ticonderoga, and ones which we still have in our amazing collections today. I want to thank you and wish you good luck as you do one of the fun activities in our Center for Digital History. So thank you. Can I say bye? Bye. Bye.